Years and multiple tragedies later, the Colorado funeral home industry may once again be regulated. Today, lawmakers introduced a bill that would require funeral home professionals to be licensed. KRDO 13 investigator Quinn Ritzdorf is live at the Capitol to explain what that means for those in the industry. Quinn? Bart, if this bill passes, funeral home professionals like directors, cremationists, and embalmers would must be licensed by January 2026, but not everyone in the funeral home industry supports this idea. We're the only state in America that doesn't require a licensure, and that's also why almost all the horrific stories that we've heard around the nation come out of Colorado. Many of these tragedies happened just in the last six years. Sunset Mesa returned to nature in just last month, Apollo. What we're doing here with licensure is about restoring confidence in Colorado's funeral industry. To be licensed, professionals must prove they have the education, have passed national exams, have an apprenticeship, and must complete a background check. Now, in the meantime, current funeral home professionals must gain a provisional license, proving they have the background and experience to stay in the industry. It's unrealistic to ask them to go back to a school and get a degree and put their business on hold, um, and then we would likely lose that service in our community. The state's Funeral Directors Association supports the bill, but not everyone in the industry agrees with it. Service Corporation International, a funeral home conglomerate, is expected to lobby against it, worried licensing will increase costs. We've been working to strike that balance here because we don't want to run good operators out of the industry. And we also don't want to make it expensive to bury your loved ones in Colorado. The Colorado Department of Regulatory Agencies will oversee licensing if this bill passes. Now, the director, Patty Salazar, says the agency has the resources despite failing to investigate return to nature after receiving multiple complaints. Reporting live from the state capitol, Quinn Ritzdorf, Cardio, 13 Investigates.